Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here today with our blackberries. Uh, the crop is over. The canes are starting to die. The new ones are coming on for this coming year. And we need to get rid of the old canes out of here. And before we do, you know, we pull up some of these mimosa weeds. They're so evasive here. We've got such a big root system on them. We've got lots of mulch around them, but it's not stopping this from happening. Uh, that stuff comes up through anything, but we're going to be looking for the canes that are already dead in here because they're, you know, the blackberries go from one year um, to the next. They fruit on new cane, so we want to get rid of all the old cane out of here so that our plant has plenty of room and vigor to grow and we don't have a brambled up looking mess of just briars sticking up. Now these are the thornless ones. This is the, uh, uh, let's see, this is the Arapaho I believe that we have here. And it's a variety. We have just a few of them here to try on our homestead. They've done pretty good. What you want to look for is the ones that have already begun to die. And it's just a little bit of a process to take them out piece by piece. I like to be easy with all my stuff. You take it out, it has no, no leaves or anything like that left on it. It's just completely dead. It serves no purpose now. We want to make sure that we get down in here and sometimes you have to cut them up into several pieces to get them out but another one you want to cut them close to the bottom here if you can y'all can see my trusted dog hank here he keeps running in and out of here okay we're going to just keep working our way around from the bottom getting some of these out of here and you'll be able to see when we get through, this will look so much better than what it actually looks now. Start up top here. Let's kind of take this thing down little by little so we don't have so much to handle here. I know it seems like you're doing a lot of damage to the plant, but you're really not. all this to the side. My dog was helping me out here. He's done come over here and dug in an ant bed and got them stirred up. Because these blackberries are a cane type, we like to put us a couple of wires here and what we do is we go along and we pull these kind of work these up in there you be careful not to break them this kind of helps to train this plant to be a little bit more erect and not get so out of control and also what I like to do is once it gets to a certain height up here I like to go ahead and just cut the top out of it because when you do that it'll cause the plant to actually bush out more and I'll cut the, the ends off here and some of these lower ones here sometimes it's a little bit difficult to fool with them but I do like to pull them around and stick them up in here and it kind of helps to kind of helps to get them trained to start growing up in a particular direction because these things will get out of control now here's another one right here you want to cut off right above these little nodes right here because what that'll do is that'll give you a place for another limb to start coming out and your briar will actually do better. And we're going to continue on cutting all the dead out of this and then we'll kind of show you an end result of what it looks like once we get through with it.
right, we finished cutting out all the dead cane uh, that's in here. We've got a nice pile here. We've got a haul off. And um, our briars are kind of trained up somewhat. Um, now, they'll still sprout and grow back before fall gets in here good because of the extensive heat we're having and the fact that we're still in summertime. But what will happen is we'll get a lot of new growth coming out laterally on these branches here for, uh, for our berries next year. And we should get some, you know, a bumper crop of berries off of this. So um, we've got to head on down to the other end where we've got our other berries at and start thinning them out and get the dead canes out of them. And I hope y'all have enjoyed our little bit of series on how to trim out blackberries. This variety here is called the Arkansas Traveler. It's a new variety we're trying on our homestead, and even though it's excessive heat, uh, this particular one we have found is probably going to be the best blackberry for the deep south because it just goes right on through the heat. It doesn't seem to even affect it. Right, we've got it all weeded out now. Got most of the weed pulled out of it. Got all the dead bramble cut out of it. Uh, that's the way we want it to look all the way down the whole row. Now comes the daunting task of picking up all the weeds. We're going to be dumping them in a hole down here where we got to wash at, hoping that those mimosa weeds will take hold down there where it's washing at and help us to stop our wash some. Uh, it seems like they grow everywhere you don't want them to grow. So we're going to try to see if we can put them where we want them to grow so Right, I'm in my blueberry patch now. We're going around this morning. We're cutting all the sucker sprouts out of everything. They call them water sprouts out of all of our trees and sprouts along the ground and stuff like that. And I'm in the blueberries. We have 50 trees here. There's three rows of them. I don't know if it's all in the camera or not, but I was going to do a blueberry trimming video, but I'm going to have to wait because the weather we're having is so erratic and so unusual until I'm going to wait until a little bit later in the fall to actually do anything because blueberries actually fruit on one year old wood and I'm afraid if I do any cutting right now it'll give a bunch of new sprouts will come up and what will happen is is if, if we're going into a solar minimum like they're talking about 
then the winter will be so cold that the new young shoots that pop up on the tree for the pre for the second year blueberries will actually die and I could lose a whole season so I'm going to actually wait and not do any pruning until later this fall when I know that no new sprouts are going to come out after I prune. I wouldn't mind pruning now but I'm afraid that because of the extreme heat we're having I would just end up with too many new sprouts and lose a lot of my tree due to extreme colds because with the solar minimum we're talking about extremes we're going to have we're still going to have our winters we're still going to have our summers our springs and our falls but what's going to happen is we're going to have extreme weather in each one of those and i just don't want a chance with my blueberries i would rather wait and take care of them during the fall so i hope that this has been a little bit educational to you you watching me trim around on all the stuff that we have here this morning and show you that's what we're doing at Deep South Homestead right now. And I hope it's been a blessing. Thank you from Deep South Homestead. Love it.